What is going on everybody? This is Lazybo from Tech Needs. Today we're going to be taking a look and going over the best Wi-Fi 6 routers of 2021. One thing I do want to mention for you guys, this is going to be this video is going to be constantly be updated every 2 months because as we're getting brand new Wi-Fi 6 devices, we're going to be definitely have to keep this list fresh. So if you're watching this right now, you're definitely going to want to make sure you pay close attention. In addition to that guys, every single router that I'm going to be mentioning in today's video the links in the description will be down below where you guys can purchase this and upgrade them super easy. There should be some with some really good specials pretty soon. So make sure you guys constantly check that list. So for those of you wondering, do I need to upgrade to a Wi-Fi 6 device? The answer to that is hell yeah. I'm going to tell you guys exactly why. Because you're probably already using a Wi-Fi 6 device and you don't even know it. And what is worse than actually getting a really good device and not being able to use it and optimize it to its full potential? If you're like me guys, one of the key components that I always look is to maximize my workflow and be able that when I upload a video or when I watch Netflix or when I watch some sort of entertainment or I download some sort of game to my console or if I'm using any of the brand new like Luna or Stadia uh, you know, services to actually do gaming, I want to make sure I have the fastest connectivity and that's why a Wi-Fi 6 router is going to be crucial to you guys being able to actually do that. So let's get started with the list and talk about what are the best devices? Now, I kind of, these are not in any chronicle order, but I did go ahead and list them based on, you know, test them out on small homes, medium-sized homes, and a wide range. Now, if you live in a big house that has multiple rooms, then you're definitely going to want to consider picking up a mesh system. If you guys would like to see a, uh, you know, a video of the best Wi-Fi 6 mesh systems, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to put that together for you guys. So let's get started with the first one. The first one we're going to mention is the Asus GT AXE 11000. Now this is a Wi-Fi 6E router. It's not just a Wi-Fi 6. This is actually Wi-Fi 6E. Now E is the brand new technology. So if you want to be ahead of the curve, if you don't have to want to upgrade like maybe in six months or upgrade in a year, then this is the router I highly recommend you guys definitely pick up. Now, if you guys would like to see a review of this particular product, just complete breakdown, let me know in the comment section down below. We'll be more than happy to bring that for you guys. But the uh, but the Asus uh, GT AXE uh, is able to do almost every single thing that your hearts desire. There are a couple of benefits and a couple of downsides to this. One of the biggest downsides, of course, is its hefty price of 550. Now, like I said, as we move along throughout the year, I do expect these to be dropping down in price and you probably would be probably be able to pick this one up for like maybe 350. But if you guys want to pick it up right now and want to get the best of the best and not have to worry of, of upgrading later, then this is definitely the one you want to go with. The next one I want to mention, guys, is the Asus RTX 86U. Now, this is another Asus product, but it's one of the most, I would say, older units. And this one just gives you Wi-Fi 6. It doesn't give you Wi-Fi 6E. But this should get you in the right center point if you want to get the best of the best. This is by far, if I had to pick and you don't want to, you know, you want to get something and just want to get something that's solid, really good, this is definitely the one I would recommend. This is actually a very, very good product. It comes with a lot of really, uh, it comes with almost all the bells and whistles except the, the E part of the Wi-Fi 6, right? But it should be able to give you fast performance, excellent range. And so if you have a medium sized home, not too large, you know, this should cover the majority of your house. It has a ton of helpful network features. And one thing that I love about this particular router is the fact that it has a really good UI when it comes to configuring this device. Once again, guys, if you guys would definitely like to see a review for this individual product by itself, let me know in the comments section down below. And as a quick reminder, guys, all of these are listed down below. If you guys need to pick these up. The next one that I was probably not going to include in my list, but I felt like I needed to include it is because I know not a lot of you guys are going to have like, you know, $500, you know, $300 to shelf out for a brand new router. And I wanted to int introduce you to this particular entry level router that should have you guys pretty you know pretty much optimized to its full potential where you can still get the benefits of wi-fi 6 and that is the tp link archer ax 3200 now this is an excellent router it's a tri-bound router for small homes if you live in a medium-sized home like maybe you know 2,000 square feet or higher i probably wouldn't recommend this router because you're still going to have to buy adapters to actually extend that further range out but if you live in a small house maybe like 1,500 square feet below, this should be able to do this job 
and get the job done for your for your device now it'll also be compatible with anything that has to do with wi-fi 6 and this particular router guys i believe is exclusively only found on uh costco or on ebay so if you guys are looking for this particular router highly recommend you guys check out those areas i believe if i do find it in amazon i'll leave a link down below for you guys so you guys can definitely check it out but as of right now from what i know it's only found in Costco. The next one I want to recommend, guys, is another TP-Link Archer AX50. Now, this is a pretty good uh, router that has a very good price, and it, you're not sacrificing price for quality. This is actually a pretty good one. Uh, the, you know, simplistically looking, the uh, aesthetics of this router just looks like a plain router. You're not going to be getting nothing special, no bells and whistles, but it actually does support uh, Wi-Fi 6. And it also gives you the ability of having a two times two uh, client, which is really good. And especially based on the price point of this particular, uh, you know, item, it's actually going to be pretty good. It supports up to 160 megahertz channel width, which is actually pretty decent for this price point. And it actually comes at a very affordable price and gives you top notch features. This is actually pretty good because you'll be able to do a lot of Wi-Fi settings within the useful network device that you have here. So you have multiple ways of actually achieving that. It's really affordable, which is the reason why I like it. And you'll be able to mount this on the wall. Overall, the performance for this particular router is actually pretty good. If you're looking to purchase this one, once again, the, the link is down below. Now, the next one we're going to be mentioning is the Netgear RAX40. Now, this is a very good router, once again, being able to pr produce and have Wi-Fi 6 capabilities. And this is for semi-budget friendly people who are looking to spend a little bit but not go overboard when it comes to the router. This is mostly mainly for small homes. Once again, 1,500 square feet. So your house is a little bit bigger than that. You're probably going to want to go with one of the higher tier ones that I mentioned before. This is a pretty good choice. Once again, it's going to deliver two times two Wi-Fi capability with the 2.4 gig gigabytes in full throttle with each lane. That said, it is as fast as any Wi-Fi 6 router can be considered on a two times two client. Among this particular router, it is very budget friendly and it's actually going to perform really good. The thing that I love about this particular router is the fact that it's affordable. It's going to give you that 160 megahertz channel with support. It'll give you great support features that will have you set this up really easily with no tech savvy knowledge needed. And it has a very responsible web surfer user interface, which is something that I definitely love and enjoy because, you know, you don't want to get a router and then you get home. And it's so complicated that you probably have to call 1-800-TECH-NEEDS to find out exactly how to get it set up. But overall, in general, guys, you will be able to get the best quality out of these particular routers. If you have more additional questions like what exactly do I really need Wi-Fi 6 or any other questions, drop them down in the comment section down below or check out any of the other remaining videos that I'm showing up in here on the screen. Like, for example, what's the best Wi-Fi 6 cell phone you could possibly use or devices? Definitely do check those out. If you guys are enjoying the channel, make sure you guys drop a comment, drop a like, but most importantly, subscribe for all your tech needs. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.